All right, now we move on to edge pairing. Edge pairing is a really, really simple concept. It's not really that difficult to get your mind around. Basically, what we're doing here is now we've got... If you, you shouldn't really be watching this if you don't know how to solve a 4x4 either, because knowing how to solve a 4x4 will really help you solve this one. Um, in order to do this one, though, what you're actually going to do is it's going to involve a lot more thinking, because now there's four pieces you have to pair up instead of just two. So now I'm going to teach you how to do a thing... Well, I'm just going to... Now, you might want to learn an algorithm for this. It's not really that hard at all. But, I mean, it's just a lot of common sense. So, here we go. Um, we've got this blue and orange piece, right? So, now we need to find the other blue and orange piece, which actually happens to be right here. You're going to have to learn an algorithm at towards the end. The rest of it, you should be able to do intuitively. So, if I move this up, blue and orange piece is here. Blue and orange piece is down here. So now in the 4x4, as the pogo bat taught you, or thrust taught you, if you move it over, well, then you line these two up, right? So you move it up, out of the way, move it over, bring it back down, and bring this piece back over. This is not really 2-gen, it's just an easier way of doing it. So now I'm going to show you another way of doing it with the algorithm now. We've got this one. We've got this blue and orange one, so we've got to find the other blue and orange, which actually happens to be right here. Now, this is the algorithm that you might want to learn. I'll probably put this in the video description. Row that you, the row that you want to pair up, make sure they're both in the same row. And do move that row over one, and move the bottom row over back. All right? So now, right, front inverted, up, right inverted, front, and now just move that row back. If you look, you should have them both paired up. And since I paired up my blue and orange, now to find those, this is the slowest part of a 6x6, six six, you have to find all your pieces. So since I paired them up and they're here, if I do a U and this one, now I have to line up. So I've created one edge pair. Move them out of the way, move them down, back over. Now this is almost like solving a 4x4, four four, except now you have to solve about two different... You have to solve the edges twice, basically. You have to pair stuff up twice. So now I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to do it with the algorithm because I find it to save a little bit of time. So now let's see. Here's the here's the green and red. So there's the green and red. So now the row that you want to pair up, right? F I U R I F down inverted. All right. And you paired them up up here. Using these algorithms, you should be able to successfully pair together everything, unless you get something called parity which, believe it or not, you can actually get parity in your edge pairing, which really gets on people's nerves, but, hey, you have to deal with it. So, here, I explained the concept of edge pairing, so now I'm just going to go ahead and try to pair everything up. Sorry if this takes a while, but it does take a pretty long time to pair stuff up. More than likely, I'm just going to make another video starting with the edge pairing, starting with all the edges paired up, I'm probably going to explain to you what parity is. I explained to you how to pair up edges. So for example, here's one edge pair. So now, after we pair it up like this, we're just going to end up solving it like a normal Rubik's Cube. So, this is the concept of edge pairing. I'm going to cut the video here, and then I'm going to pair up all the edges, and then I'll be starting another video for you guys after I've paired up most of the edges, unless I get parity, which I will show you how to solve. Alright? Alright.